Hello friends, this video on heat part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 5. Discuss why wearing more layers of clothing during winter keeps us warmer than wearing just one thick piece of clothing. That's because when you have more layers, so between every two layers you have one layer of air which is being trapped and air is a poor conductor of heat. Now, therefore, the heat gets trapped. So, a lot of heat gets trapped which provides us warmth. So, there is an additional insulation and therefore, we remain warm. So, the body remains warm. Question number six. Mark where the heat is being transferred by conduction, by convection and by radiation. So here if you see when your uh, this fire it heats up this vessel which contains water. So how is the vessel getting heated up? So the vessel is getting heated up by conduction that is how solids get heated up. So by direct contact. Now how the water is being get, getting heated up? The fluids. So water is being get, getting heated by convection. Right? And what about this fire? The fire is also radiating heat to the surroundings. So that is radiation. Question number seven. In places of hot climate, it is advised that the outer walls of houses be painted white. That's why because in hot climate, we do not want the inside of the house also to be very hot. So we would prefer it to be painted in a color which reflects most of the light and absorbs very less heat. So the light colors absorb less heat. So white reflects most of the radiation. So it will keep the interior cool because white color absorbs less radiation and it reflects most of it. So the house remains cool. Question number eight. 1 litre of water at 30 degrees Celsius is mixed with 1 litre of water at 50 degrees Celsius. So the temperature of the mixture will be, so you have 4 options. So you basically have 1 litre of water which is at 30 degrees Celsius. This is the temperature. You have in another bowl 1 litre of water which is at 50 degrees Celsius. Now when you mix both of them, what is going to happen? Heat transfer will happen, right? So from high temperature, it will go to lower temperature and this heat transfer will take place as long as both the temperature don't get equalized, right? That's what we learned. So now when you mix both these water, so what will happen? So they will, the average temperature, so the net temperature would be the average of both of these, it is going to be more than 30 degree, but less than 50 degree, correct? So therefore, the right option would be between 30 degree and 50 degree because this will become hotter and this will become colder because heat will flow from this to this. Now, when you are actually mixing both the water, that is what is happening. When both are coming in contact, so the water from the, the hotter water, or the hot water from the one which is at a higher temperature will start flowing to the one which is at a lower temperature. So the heat will flow from hotter water towards colder water. So both will reach a stable temperature. Therefore, the temperature of the mixture would be more than 30 degree but less than 50 degree. Question number 9. An iron ball at 40 degrees Celsius is dropped in a mug containing water at 40 degrees Celsius. So how will the heat flow? So you have a ball and you have a mug containing water. So this is also at 40 degrees Celsius and this one is also at 40 degrees Celsius. Now we have learnt that heat transfer will take place only if there is a difference of temperature. But here there is no difference of temperature. Therefore there will be no flow of heat. So therefore the heat will not flow from iron ball to water or from water to iron ball. Heat will not flow at all. Had there been a temperature difference, the heat would have flown from the one which is at a higher temperature to the one which is at a lower temperature. Question number 10. A wooden spoon is dipped in a cup of ice cream. Its other end becomes cold by conduction, becomes cold by convection, becomes cold by radiation, does not become cold. Now just make a note of it. It is wooden spoon and we know that wood is 
a poor conductor of heat so wood doesn't allow heat to flow, flow through it therefore it will not make any difference to the wooden spoon because it, it doesn't allow heat it is something like this when you have a pan with a wooden handle or a plastic handle even if you keep it on the oven the handle will not get heated up because it doesn't allow heat to pass through it so conduction will not take place in case of a wooden spoon and therefore it will not become cold at all question number 11 stainless steel pans are usually provided with copper bottoms the reason for this could be that so there again we have four options copper bottom makes the pan more durable durability is not uh, the reason such pans appear colorful anyways appearance shouldn't be uh, that important that we will take this extra pain of painting it copper is a better conductor of heat than stainless steel yes exactly now copper is a metal and steel is an alloy that is a mixture of a metal and a non-metal but Copper being a pure metal, it is a better conductor of heat, so it will allow more heat to pass through it, it will get heated up quickly and it will also heat the vegetables and the content inside it more quickly. So the quick, uh, cooking will become quicker and that is why copper is, uh, uh, therefore the cop copper bottoms are preferred over the normal ones. So with this we have reached towards the end of this lesson and I hope that this lesson on heat would have helped you to understand the concept. So see you all in the next lesson. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.